Welcome to Eureka Math, Module 5, Lesson 2. So our objective today is to find the volume of a rectangular prism by packing uh, with unit cubes and uh, cubic units and counting. So I don't actually have cubes for you to try at home, so you're going to have to use a little bit of your imagination, but I did um, cut out a piece of paper and I'm going to fold it and we're going to imagine that it's a box, okay? I don't have any tape either, but if I fold this, okay, maybe here I'll make this a little bigger. If I fold this like this, I can make it into a box. And the idea is I want to figure out how many cubic centimeters would fit inside my box, okay? So if you've ever taken any origami classes, you can go ahead and make your own. That'd be really cool. And if you figured out how to make little centimeter cubes out of origami, that would be even cooler. Okay. So, um, all right, let's go straight to the, to the learn book. Okay, module five, lesson two. And don't forget your name. Okay, shade the following figures on centimeter grid paper. So you have centimeter grid paper um, right here, okay? So if you wanna shade in, let's see, what does it look like? It says, cut and fold each to make three open boxes, taping them so they hold their shapes. Pack each box with cubes. Well, we don't have cubes to pack them with. But if you do want to draw them, you can draw those here. And that center was four. Ooh, bad, bad drawing already. The center was four. And then each side was also four. Right? So if I were to cut this shape out, and that became the base, right? And I, so here's my, here's my uh, example. And I were to cut it out and I was to fold it up, how many cubic centimeters would fit inside, okay? So how many do you think? Well, the base here would be one, two, three, four. There's four on the base. And then this becomes the height, right? So this becomes the length and this becomes the width, and then this, if after we fold it, would be the height. So here you have length times width times height would be two going this way, two going this way, and two going this way, okay? So how many would fit inside there? Eight centimeters cubed. You could get eight little boxes in there. So, <clears throat> this would be the length, this would be the width, and after you folded it, this would be the height. And so would this, and so would this, and so would this, and so would that, okay? Imagine folding it up, length times width times height, 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8. How many cubes would fit in there? 8. Now, here's this one. This one's longer than it is wide. So our, our, I'm sorry, wider than it is long. So our length here, this would be our length, would be two. And your width would be this one here, one, two, three, four. And then height becomes this one. So this is width and then this is height, and that is also two. So two times four is eight, times two is 16. So how many cubes would fit inside there? If we folded it up, 16 cubes. You have to use your imagination for a lot of this, so, uh, and picture it in your mind. Okay, so the gray part is the base, right? The base of the square, or the base of the cube. And this length here is one, two, three, four, So that's four. That's an L, by the way, not a two. And then this is the width, one, two, three, four, like that. 
And then the height would be 1, 2, 3. So 4 times 4 is 16 times 3 would be 48. Okay, 48 cubes would fit in there. And if you wanted to count them, you could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Our base is 16 cubes. That's this, right? And then our height would be three layers of those 16. Okay. I hope you're getting this. It's hard to visualize if you're not very, um, if you if you have a hard time imagining figures in your head. Okay, number two, predict how many cubic centimeters would fit in each box. Okay, so we don't know, I'm gonna use a brighter color here. We don't know how many would fit inside there, but we can guess, okay? So I'm gonna draw those lines in. Ooh, that line was bad. Okay, there we go. So I've got one, two, three, four going this way. And I've got two going this way and I have one going up. So four times two times one equals eight. So that'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our prediction is eight and the actual, because we can't really try it, is eight as well. Next one, okay, so I'm gonna draw those lines in. That helps me. Does it help you? Ooh, that line is bad. I have to even out my fingers here. Right there, okay. Now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on a layer, but there are two layers Right, so if this is 8 and this is 8, my prediction is that there are 16. And I can figure that out by this is 4 and this is 2 and that's 2. So 4 times 2 times 2 is 16. Okay. Next one. All right. There, 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 there. Now this line across is the hard one for me to draw. Uh, okay. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five going this way. I've got two going that way. And one, two, three, four going this way. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in each layer. Right? So if there are one, two, three, four layers, that's 40 blocks, right? Now let's try it with our formula. 5 times 2 times 4, well, that also equals 40. Okay. Cut out the net in the template and fold it into a cube. Okay. Predict the number of 1 centimeter cubes that would be required to fill it. Cut out the net in the template. I don't know what they're asking for there. The net in the template be on a different page. There it is. Ah, that one. Okay, so we're going to cut that out. I'm going to cut one out here. Okay. And I'm going to tape it together here. Okay, so do you see how it's longer on one side than the other? Because that's going to turn around and be the top. So I'm going to close this, close that, and you close this, and then that, and then around. And if I had some tape, I would hold it together, and I need a cube. Okay? It's a terrible cube. I, I know, but you guys can do a better job. Okay? So once you have your cube, cut out the net in the template and fold it into a cube. Predict the number of one centimeter cubes that would be required to fill it. Okay, so... Mine is going to be, I'm going to guess, let's go back here, I'm going to guess that I can fit one, two, one, two, three, four in the base, right? 
So that would be two times two, and then my height would be two, and then this would just be the flap that goes over it. So two times two times two equals eight. So that's my prediction. Okay, okay explain your thought process as you made your prediction. I thought four cubes could fit in the base or the square and that it would be two levels high. Okay. How many one cubic centimeter cubes are used to fill the figure? Was your prediction accurate? Okay, well, we don't have those. But if you want to measure this with a centimeter or with a ruling stick and you have centimeters, measure your box, okay, and measure this side right here and this side right here and see how many centimeters it is. If it's two centimeters by two centimeters by two centimeters, we did well. If it's three, that would be three times three times three. Okay. So if you have a ruling, uh, a ruler, measure that in centimeters and see what your actual answer is. Okay. So that one you'll need a ruler for. When you finish, um, upload your um, problem set, and then here's your exit ticket. So this is the same. If this figure were to be folded in a box, how many cubes would fit in it? So look at the base. And here, predict how many center, how many would fit in there, and then you can figure it out by figuring out the length times the width times the height. Okay? All right. And then you can come back and do your homework right there. Great job.